game and I'm still the same And I never change just to get a deal, but I'm ballin', ballin' I came from nothing, it's nothing like it's nothing Yeah, you know I done it, that is no discussion Hey, what's up guys? Henry the Blazion here, and as you can see in front of you today, we've got the Rising Star Challenge MVP himself, 97 overall pink diamond Kyle Kuzma. What was actually funny about him getting his moments is so many people were against it. I was actually surprised other players didn't get moments because there was a lot of people that were hooping in that Rising Star Challenge, but it was just funny that people didn't want Kuzma to get it just because we already had a pink diamond card of him. Like, it's just funny, like, how our mindset is towards people and watching them play because we want some freaking virtual cards. I just found that really funny, but yeah, our boy Kuzma got the MVP, and he was a Laker, so you know what I was thinking? The My Team Devs love the Lakers, so this card was definitely going to get the treatment, and boy, did he get the treatment. Before we dive into these stats, though, I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below, who do you guys have winning the dunk contest, who do you guys have winning the three-point contest, who do you guys have winning the skills challenge, and who do you guys have winning all-star game MVP? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'm curious as to what you guys think, but anyways, let's dive into these stats. So basically, Kuzma got a fat upgrade, man. 99 offensive overall, 96 defensive overall. I gave this man the treatment. I gave him a shoe. I gave him some badges. He's going to be a beast in game. 97 driving layup. He's still got the same fadeaway. Things that have gone up, though. The three-pointer, man. He now has a 94 open three. The free throw, unfortunately, it stayed in an 80. He's still got the driving dunk. And boy, does he still have those tendencies. So he's going to be catching mad bodies. He's got 86 ball control. The passing is still kind of the same. His defense went up on that block and shot contest and steal all went up by I think double digits His rebounding is now actually really nice compared to the regular pink diamond his speed I'm not sure if that went up or down. I could be wrong So I'm not gonna talk about it, but the shoe does boost his speed with ball to an 87 So yes, his speed with ball before I think it was like a 70 something now it became an 80 uh, 82 and now got boosted to an 87 because of our shoe He's got a higher vertical as well strength didn't change some of his defense went up But the main reason I I gave him this shoe was for the 87 lateral quickness 82 was just a little bit too low for me and i kind of plan on keeping this card so uh yeah but uh looking at the badges man they treated this man well take a look at this man the previous one had two hall of fame badges now he's got seven one man fast break the previous one already had the relentless finisher and acrobat he now has hall of fame posterizer hall of fame lob city finisher hall of fame catch and shoot with that beautiful jumper oh i'm excited as well as Hall of Fame Pick and Popper, which is going to be pure cheese because that's all half of this community does, man. But then he comes with a ton of other badges. I did give him Limitless Range and some other badges, but most of the badges are basically the same. He can hold a total of 26 badges here, as you can see. And then he's also got the passive badges as well. But I don't want to talk too much, man. I want to get right into this game. I want to see what USA Kuzma has in store for us. So without further ado, let's hop into a game and let's see what Pink Diamond Kuzmania has in store for us. Let's get into it boys. All right in our matchup for today's looking like Magic Johnson, Ray Ray, Giannis, Kristaps Porzingis is going to be a good matchup because he's really tall as well as Ralph Sampson. So if we can hoop on this Porzingis, we should be able to do a lot of work on any other card. Kuzma, let's go out there and let's get this dub, man. All right, guys, the game is underway, and one thing I realized off the bat is I is I actually have an all-Lakers starting lineup. Ooh, alley to get the game started. Okay, Kuzmania. Worthy, we're not worried. We're not worried. Come here. You're not shooting that with Giannis and hitting that in my face. Kuz with the rebound. Oh, we're taking this all the way. Get out of my way, everyone. I'm dunking it. Oh, no, we're going for that fancy layup. And it's dropping. That Hall of Fame one-man fast break is clutch. So one thing I do want to test out with this Kuz is that three-pointer. So we're going to run our beautiful little play. Get him open. Hall of Fame catch and shoot. Showing off right there with an easy three. One thing I'm going to love about this Hall of Fame catch and shoot is the trailing threes from Kuzma. From deep, baby. Bang. Nice steal there. There we go. Straight to Magic. Oh, Shaq, you can have this one. That's all yours. I love the ball movement and running and transition. Kuz, let's get you a nice little pick and pop. I really want to test out that Hall of Fame pick and popper. Oh, he's hitting it. Catch and shoot from deep. Bang! You got to contest the shots, baby. Nice rebound there. All right, my boy Kuz has the takeover. So we feeding him. Oh, we taking this one all the way. Come here, Giannis. Hey! Good defense. Good defense. That's not going down. You tried it, though. Nice rebound. Kuz, we got 17 seconds. I want to see you running in transition, baby. Nice little catch. Limitless range. Oh, that's off the dribble. Is that going? Oh, it's going down. Okay. Hall of Fame catch and shoot. Thanks for bailing me out. We got three seconds to go. Kuz, I want to give it to you bad, but there's only one clutch man from the Lakers, and that's the Mamba. Green beat off the dribble. Yo, that Kobe Bryant is a beast, man. If you haven't seen the gameplay I did on that card, make sure to go ahead and check it out. 
And just like that, our opponent has already left the match. I mean, after that murder of a quarter, I wasn't expecting anything else. Kuz only played one quarter there. You know we got to get some more gameplay. So let's go ahead. Let's hop into a second game, boys. All right, for the second matchup, we're looking at Steph Curry, Magic at the 2, Jordan at the 3, Giannis at the 4 is another good challenge, and he's got Blake at the 5. Kuzmania, time to get Hoopy round 2. So far, the game is pretty quiet here to start. He's probably going to be trying to get Curry open a lot, which is what he's doing right there off the bat. Nice defense. There we go. Clap him up. Clap him up. You're not scoring on Shaq. Yeah, try that again. Thank you. Let's go straight to Kuz. Kuz running. Step back. Oh, too open. Easy 3 to start the game. He's running the offense through Giannis, and that's not working. Kuz, run with me. I want to get you an alley-oop. Never mind. You're open out there. Catch and shoot again, baby. Bang. Hall of Fame catch and shoot is such an amazing badge, man. So it looks like we don't have our playbook this game, which means we don't have any three-point plays. Which means we're going to have to rely on that pick and fade. Catch and shoot again. Green bean. So it doesn't really feel like I've been going off on this guy yet. We're already up 9-2 because I hit the two threes. Make it four now. Psych, I'm blowing by. I'm going in for the dunk. Oh, we drawn a foul. And one. Oh, man. This card is really something else on the offensive end. He's just a threat from everywhere. Convert that free throw for us. We got 12 points. And we got our takeover. You can run that pick and roll all you want. I didn't even realize he had Galaxy Opal CP3. That's what he was hiding on his bench. Yeah, that's not going down. I'll take that rebound, though. Kuz, you got the takeover. You know what to do now. We going all the way. Get out of my way, everybody. Yeah. Let's get a nice little ISO goal for my boy. If you're off falling, that's dangerous. Because I'm just going to blow by again and go for those beautiful dunks. Ooh, I thought that was a little bit blockable. He was a little bit slow going up there, but he's still putting it down, man. Nice rebound there. We pushed it. Oh, my God. Kuzma's got a little bit of takeover left. Who's getting dunked on? Never mind. And one. Oh, my. He's got to be. <laughs> I don't want to do this to the man. That's already two opponents that have left the match. This Kuzma had two and ones, two threes, and two dunks in barely a quarter. This card is so goaded. We got to go into one more match. Maybe I'll lift the foot off the pedal a little bit because we were cooking that man. Let's go into another game. And for the third and final matchup, hopefully a bit more of a challenge is what it's looking like here. He's got Magic, Brandon Roy, Giannis at the three, Blake at the four, Matumbo at the five. So he's got a good rim protector, a nice power forward, a small forward that can help. So Kuz, let's see what you can do against this lineup round three. So since we're up against Blake, we'll start off with a nice little pick and roll. I want to show you that alley-oop so you know this Kuzma means business. Okay, Blake, I want you to know that. Nice rebound there by Shaq. Let's push it straight to Magic. Oh, I see Kuz running. That's another alley-oop. Hey, oh my god. Oh, that went down. Yo, he's mad. Why did you throw it so high, Magic? All right, so this guy went on quite a bit of a run. He's playing some good defense here. Let's go to a pick and fade right away. We're attacking the rim. Oh, he's open. Catch and shoot, baby. Not a green, but it's a bucket. Hall of Fame catch and shoot makes basically everything green. If it's, if it's not a green, it's a green, okay? All right, Kuzma, I'm going to need one more bucket here. Uh, Slow down. I see Kuz there. Pump fake. Oh, one more pass. Give me that assist, Kobe Bean. Hall of Fame catch and shoot on you, too. Let's go. Uh, let's try a different three-point play. We'll run this way this time. Attack. I see Kuz there. One more pass to Kobe. Go around that screen. Get open for another three. Not a green, but it's a bucket. Yeah, he's not missing anything open at all, man. All right, Kuzma with takeover is all I needed. Give me a size up. Oh, we blown by. Doesn't matter if you're in my way or not. Come here. Hey, that's what I love about the slashing takeover so much. It's literally hold boost, go to the bucket, and hold square. I really want to do some post fadeaways here with Kuzma, but he's got the takeover, which means it's just ISO time. Jab and blow by once again. Go to the rim. Get out of my way. We got everything fancy, every package, every animation possible for a bailout. It's there. Easy pick and fade here to get the game going. Hit that screen. We're attacking. Kuzma staying in the paint for whatever reason. All right, fine. I guess we'll test that fadeaway some more. Green bean. Get that steal, Shaq. There we go, Shaq. All right, James Worthy. I'm going to need a dunk from you to give us a lead before the second quarter. Into the second quarter here, and this guy's already got a lead right back, a six-point lead. We're going to a pick and fade here. We're attacking. Oh, he's open. Catch and shoot. That's not contested. Thank you. I thought we were going to get a contest for that. That was tough. Just like that, we are still down six. Oh, reliable three-point play. I'm going to need you real quick. Get around that screen, Kuzma, please. Thank you. Catch and shoot. That's not a contest in time. Let's go. And just like that, we, it's looking like we're going to be down seven going into the next quarter. Psych, we got Kobe Bean. He's always clutch for us. Thank you, Kobe. Let's get a nice little ISO going here for Kuzma. Size up and drive through. Slow down. Oh, that's an easy pull from deep. Give me those. Thank you. 
pick and roll here with Shaq. It'll work out. We're going around the screen. We attack in the rim. Show me that Hall of Fame posterizer, or we can draw a foul instead. This guy is actually playing amazing. Kuzma still got 27. He's shooting a good clip here. Um, again, we're not really too worried about the win. We just want to see how this Kuzma is playing, and I can definitely tell you guys he is an improvement from the other Kuzma by far. Got him. Oh, he's going to start rolling anyways. alley to someone. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was such a bailout. Let's actually get Kuzma posting up. I can trust Kuzma posting up. This should work out. Kuzma, get in the post. Or, you know, don't even defend him. We'll just fade away. Draw the foul and one. Yes! Let's go. I love it when they foul me mid-animation because it's always going down. Another and one for this god giving us the lead. Transition that into a three-point play. And we're cooping. We're hooping. I don't know what else to say except we're hooping. All right, as you guys can see, with the bench in, we've actually got our boy Kuzma at the three. We're going to see how that works out. Going around the screen. Oh, Hall of Fame posture. Never mind. Relentless finisher instead is going to do the job for us. Oh, my goodness. This card is too easy on offense. Let's end this with a nice little pick and roll here from Blake. Blake, I need a screen. Hit that screen. Thank you. Going this way instead. Off the dribble. Julius Green Bean to end off the quarter. We don't have to score every bucket with Kuzma, man. Kuzma, let's run that pick and roll real quick. He's actually off-balling and on-ball switching. Oh, that's an easy catch. Nice finish there. Okay. Okay. All right, Shaq. Let's just bully the living life out of this Ralph Sampson. Drop step. Easy layup. Or next time, please dunk it. If you would have just murdered him, that would have gotten our team hyped up. But I'll take it. So I realize it's actually a three-point game, a.k.a. We got to play a little smarter here. We're switching. Got him. I'm fading. Give it to me. Buckets. Oh, that fadeaway on him is such a nice, easy animation. The lightlies always go in. Get in the post against this man. Get in the post. Get in the post. There we go. Keep switching. Keep switching. Got him. Oh, I'm fading again. Easy green bean. <laughs> He's choking. He's going to choke this game. I know this guy's going to choke. Let's just get one quick stop. He's going to try to shoot a three. Yeah. Is your screen thing not working? That's tough. Look, you're getting clapped. You're choking. Oh, no. You're choking. And guess who we got? We got the closer on our team, a.k.a. Kuzma. Slow down. Oh, he's flopping. He knows it's over. Bang. Goodbye. Na 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 na. <laughs> na 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. I don't know why he left in that last minute, though. I mean, that's a little bit salty. We all saw that Kuzma was absolutely hooping. All it took was that one stop to push this man over the edge. But as you guys saw, Kuzma is an absolute hooper. Let's go back to the main screen and let's talk a little bit more about this card. All right, and as you guys saw from those three gameplays, we forced three rage quits. Again, I still don't know why that guy quit in that third game. I really wanted to see what the box score was going to be like because I really felt like Kyle Kuzma was not missing any shots at all. And let me tell you right off the bat, I don't think he missed a single catch-and-shoot shot that was open. That Hall of Fame catch-and-shoot was doing wonders, given that Magic did have Hall of Fame Dimer, but there was times where it wasn't Magic passing to Kyle Kuzma. This card is a pick-and-pop god. This card is a three-point god. He's got the fadeaway. He's got the dunking. He's got the ball control to create his own shot on the offensive end man this card is damn near perfect and to make it even better he's 6'9 so that size is definitely a big factor for him being able to create shots and stuff like that uh, on the defensive end he honestly did not feel too bad whatsoever given that I did give him a defensive shoe for that lateral quickness other than that though this card is just half man half amazing you guys knew that my team devs were gonna bless up a Laker card because there are all Laker fans out there man but yeah this Kuzma is definitely an upgrade from the other Kuzma even if this Kuzma is going for 220k which I would not recommend you guys buy right now because he will go down in price over the weekend he is definitely worth that price though I would wait until Sunday before buying any cards because that's when all the rest of the moments are gonna be in there and I'm honestly super excited for the rest of the moments if Kuzma is getting the treatment like this I'm excited to see what the three-point contest winner is gonna get the dunk contest winner and the all-star game MVP so I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below who do you guys have for the three point contest winner the dunk contest winner and the all-star game mvp let me know down in the comment section below but anyways guys this is going to be the end of the video so if you did enjoy the video make sure to leave a like and for you new viewers you know you got to hit that subscribe button and join the blazing nation i want to thank you guys for watching i hope you all have an awesome day